All right, folks. It's been a while. Uh, I am inside a undisclosed shop location. Big panel right here, but this is stainless steel. And what we're doing today is using graphene in a solution to make a coating. And so it's literally this easy. Watch. Just spray that sucker on. And we'll just spread it around so that it's nice and evenly coated. It's semi-transparent unless it's real thick. Now you notice that I don't care that it's getting on the aluminum, and you'll see why too, because we'll we'll put it on some aluminum as well. Do 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 do. -do. Alright. So what this is actually is a polymer coating made from uh, currently available antimicrobial polymers. Uh, this stuff we're going through testing right now but we're almost certain that it will kill coronavirus. Um, in fact we're working with the CDC, NIOSH and all those other acronyms to uh, try to do this. Now when this dries off which will be in a few minutes uh, you would then spray it with this stuff which you could drink. Both of these are all food safe. Uh, and this is the cross-linking agent. So just like uh, when you're doing fiberglass resin or something like that and you add uh, you know, a polyester resin usually has uh, MEK as the hardener or vinyl ester or epoxy has a uh, separate hardener. You, we've all seen it, you know, JB Weld has it, the red and the black cap. The black is the resin, red is the hardener, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, same stuff same kind of principles is that something will get hard and this is almost dry so then you just take this when it's dry and you spray it and that will make a coating that is hard and when I say hard I'm talking like you can scratch this aluminum with a stainless steel pick and you will damage the aluminum before you'll go through the, the, the actual coating I mean, that's how hard it is. We were actually developing it so that uh, it could be uh, used in mechanical settings like uh, uh, inside engines, basically, or bearings and things like that so that it would uh, reduce the friction and increase the durability. And on accident, this whole thing happened. Well, we all know what's happening right now. Um, and so we were like, well, let's get it all tested. So we've already done antimicrobial tests for a, a staff, uh, a, a, uh, was it uh, antibody resistant staff, and it kills it. it. I mean, it kills it well. Um, and again, like I said, these are all known to kill things, and we're adding graphene to it and reinforcing this material. They're, they're actually copolymers that are being cross-linked together so that they can... Uh, covalently bond to the, the substrate so it sticks I mean it really sticks and you can put any kind of acid you can dip this in acid after you coat it it will not corrode the aluminum or the stainless steel or plastics you can put it on plastics um, you know like uh, polypropylene which is you know most of your auto dash and stuff like that or nylon it sticks to nylon like grim death uh, as the phrase it's uh, goes on glass transparent um, you know you just have to dilute it down a little bit and it'll be pristinely clear for glass uh, it's it's incredible Ooh. put it like this the phone that I'm using right now to do this recording has this coating on it because well you know why not why not have an antimicrobial coating on your phone so there you go folks that's what we've been working on for all this time uh, we've been working on a bunch of other stuff but this is the one that I'm going to release for you guys on the YouTubes so that you can go fuck yourselves. Anyway, have a good day and stay safe out there. Social distancing and all that bullshit.